Way to be. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. What a beauty. Oh, nice trout. Here, let me hold your rod. Look at the size of that thing. That's a nice fish. Oh man. <laughs> well, it looks like we're not going hungry. <laughs> Just so everybody knows, there's... Hey, show it to us. Just so everybody knows, there's monsters in this river. Look at the size of that. <laughs> we got ourselves a double header here. Tony's got one. And there's mine freaking out over there. Right on. What a beauty, eh? Nice enough for him to wait around. Look at the colors on that. So what is it? It's tuna helper with trout. Oh. <laughs> There's Tony first cast after supper. Nice. Boy, at some places here there's a lot more walking than there is canoeing and fishing, but anyway, that's all part of the journey here. So I'll line this up through the rapids a little bit, which is easy going. And maybe Paul can catch a fish. You can see this fish or how pretty it is and how big it is. And I'm telling you, it's just beautiful. Nice fish, we got supper. <laughs> what a nice fish. Just hold the fish up, Paul. Look at that.
<laughs> a little salad with your trout. Oh no. Oh, it's a pike. He hasn't fought that, but I know if I reach down there. <laughs> Oh, you called that one. Look at that. On a fly rod, no less. So I get it upstream and then what Up, do I do? Upstream and then you can grab the leader if you got it upstream. There you go. Now you give your uh, rod to your assistant. <laughs> <laughs> your caddy. <laughs> your guide. Your you get a trophy. Look at that. Look at that. Okay, I'm going to try that little mouse. Did you see that? There we go. Mouse on the fly. What did I say a mouse on the fly? <laughs> a trout on the mouse fly. Paul's talking to himself out there. What a place to learn how to fly fish, I gotta tell you. Seriously? Like the guy at Real Fly said, if you can't catch a fish on a fly rod here, you better start golfing. Oh, this is awesome. What a beauty fish, too. Look at that, look at that. Hey, just back up toward Richard now. That's it. There you go. Get him out of the current. It's not as bad. Just sweep the rod my way. There you go. 
<laughs> well, no, <laughs> no, that's a good way to break the rod, even what, even grabbing it like that. Yeah, you want them into the shallows. There you are. That's it. Textbook. <laughs> That's a beauty. That is a beauty. Okay, I'm all wrapped up. Oh, that was so much fun. That was awesome. <laughs> that okay. is worth the trip. Rod sits down, Richard. No, he's got a fish. Oh. <laughs> Thanks for the advice. <laughs> I like new fly rods. They got a lot of fish in them. Yeah. They're not all used up, right? Yeah. And what do you got on there for a fly? I don't know. What an fly. olive woolly bugger. An olive woolly bugger. Still a nice fish though. Wow. You might as well go out in the shallows with them. <laughs> Silly fish. Look at that, eh? Miracles do happen. Just like in the movies. Not too much further, Tony. Stop. Anyway, a little, let a little line out. There you go. Keep about six inches of fly line out just as a buffer. Yeah, don't grab it up. That is a oh, pretty fish. Look at this guy. Look up, Tony. Uh, highly irregular technique. I wouldn't recommend it. Well, we had to turn in early, it started to rain. We're not ready to go to sleep yet. But our first rainstorm on the trip. Yeah, today was pretty hard to take. The sun was pretty, pretty heavy duty and it was hot. Pretty hot for the subarctic, I'd say. Yep, I never thought I'd need suntan lotion and <laughs> be sweating as hard as I was today. <laughs> I actually had to go for a swim in the Sutton River to cool off. <laughs> yeah. That's trout though. It's a very misty day. Temperatures drop big time. Everybody's wearing their waders because the grass is high and wet. And everybody's got their warmer clothes on. Wind's picked up, temperatures drop. And it's misty, kind of damp. Just another day in the Sutton River. Man, I'm so sick of catching fish. Hi, <laughs> so Captain. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so, is this the secret lure? That's yeah. the secret lure. You know what it looks like? It's one of those EB. It's Dimera or something like yeah. that. Yeah. 
but they uh, my buddies use it EB Wobbler or something it's it's exactly the same thing it's a Swedish thing and uh, the coasters love them everywhere I had a little sticker on it just about worn off the metal well after I land about 60 if you take a look at the barbs they're all getting bent out I have to bend them back in these fish are scrappy look at them yeah you can see the <laughs> bent out <laughs> yeah I've had a couple straighten the hooks out on my flies makes for easier release though yeah 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 anyway it is what it is well at least this lure didn't catch a trout that's good so you just decided to take it for a walk yeah <laughs> oh just so you can get a picture of them oh I see well you're, uh, nothing on the Sutton River gives up you notice that? So just a quick cast with the Cleo. Oh, he's off. Oh. Look at that pretty lure. It's real pretty like. Oh, look, Richard's got one now. Or no, Belinda's got one. How do you like that? Didn't even have to turn the camera on. Fast and furious. Mmm, <laughs> muffins on the Sutton River. Uh, that, they're not in, in a can. <laughs> <laughs> the before muffins. <laughs> so when you take the <laughs> lid off. <laughs> I sure was peeling line. Like he took you halfway across the river, didn't he? Oh, yeah. It's a 20 inch trout. I mean, oh, maybe it's more than that. Holy, that, that's probably my biggest trout. This is pretty big. Oh, wow. Just measure it on your rod. He's right up to the right to, to, the ugly. The, to the G of ugly. To the G of ugly. Starting off, we're going to try and hit the aqueduct today, which is a river tributary. Meets up in about 15 kilometers. So we're going to try and make that camp there. Kind of an overcast day. But it's a day that Tony and I like. We like these kinds of days, don't we? Yep. <laughs> a lot better than sun beating down sweating your butt off. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. It's been like... There's been a few days we've had just like southwestern Ontario when we thought we were coming up here to beat that. But about uh, 30 seconds into this trip, we managed to get hung up on the only rock in the entire river. Uh, yeah, it was six feet deep. <laughs> and it was six feet deep, so we couldn't get out and drag it off the rock. <laughs> so we sort of spun around for a while and finally got it off. Anyway.
They sure fight in the current. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Nice fish. What's the fly? It's a an RDP bully bugger. Well, it's the uh, Belinda's favorite color, anyway. Yeah. Wow, nice fish. Rooster dink pink. at the confluence of the Aquatuck and the Sutton River and everybody seems to be catching fish here first thing yep. this morning and I got one here too if I can only get them to come my way here again another yeah 20 inch Packing up, getting ready to, to go. We'll probably fish a little bit because we're at the confluence of the Sutton River and the Aquatuck River. As you can see, the terrain has changed quite a bit into a lot of rock now. The trees are starting to get stunted. Good campsite, though. This is also the site of the demise of Tony's drone, unfortunately, went around the corner up the aquatuck on the right there, and then just for an inexplicable reason, just dropped out of the sky into the river. Never to be seen again. However, we're all still healthy, strong, ready to get at it again. we've broken camp we just decided to fish for a while um, I think there's probably been at least 20 fish caught in about 20 minutes between the four of us at least it seems like that maybe half an hour <laughs> and there he is with another one it's just non-stop here Giant brook trout after giant brook trout. And Captain Highliner is having a hard time with that little spinning rod of his. He has to be the most colorful fisherman among us. And he has released it. The long distance release that everybody here seems to be perfecting. <laughs> okay, so this one just took right at his toes. <laughs> he had about four feet of line out, he's got nothing to fight the fish with except for the tip of his rod. <laughs> That's hilarious. So, we have just entered 
Polar Bear Provincial Park. And I better put this away because we got some rapids coming up. Okay, so here we are, camp. For Monday night. Is it Monday night? Monday night. For Monday night. Or second Monday night. Don't need building fires. <laughs> it's a bug tent which has been indispensable. Two Eureka products that we have going on here are amazing. This is the uh, electric bear repelling fence. Uh, setting it up for the first time tonight because we're in Polar Bear Provincial Park now. So, Fennec's ready. Kitty's ready. Here we are, Tuesday morning. Fishing's a little slower today, but I just hooked another one. It just uh, doesn't end really. It's been a lot of fun. Can't keep up with them. Okay, anyway, it just, uh, red and bright orange seems to be the color down here for sure. Well, Paul, here we are, day eight, shortly after five. Quite honestly, this is about as bad as I've seen the flies since we've been here. Uh, I don't know if the camera's picking any of them up, but man, this is brutal. Anyway, it's uh, going to be an interesting night. So what do you think, Paul? What do you think of the trip? I have enjoyed myself despite the, uh, the hardships and the physicality of it, but uh, it's all part of it. And I never dreamed the fishing, like you read about the fishing is good. It's better than what you read about. It's amazing. I, I still can't believe it. So, well worth it. Yep, for sure. Had a great time. I think uh, the total to date, we're up over 344 brookies <laughs> that are two pounds plus. Yeah. And uh, average size is somewhere around 18 to 20 18, inches. 20. And we've got a few over that, and well, I've got the world record smallest brook trout, I think. But <laughs> anyway, besides that, it's been a hell of a trip. It's been rainy, it's been cold, it's been hot, it's been buggy, it's been everything but pleasant, and I couldn't think of having a better time in such miserable conditions. <laughs> hey? Absolutely. <laughs> I remember there was an hour of one day that was really nice. <laughs> When was that? <laughs> hey? I, I think it was, wasn't it Friday? <laughs> well, it makes you reevaluate your physical condition, that's for sure. Yeah, very good. Well, signing off for today. Yeah. This is inside the tent. Just left the door open for a little while and look what we're dealing with. I hope you can see that. The bugs are bad. The ones inside the tent sure showed the, uh, the intensity. But from where I'm sitting or standing, it's just crazy. Black fly color experiment number one. Here we have a piece of green rhino skin head net and beside it we have a blue face cloth. Check out the black flies covering the blue face cloth. Check out the green rhino skin and the lack of black flies.
Now this is not a very controlled science experiment, but I would suggest that blue is not my favorite color. Here we're uh, packing up and ready to go. Now the bugs are just about gone. There's only about maybe, I don't know, a couple hundred circling around Paul here. Uh, I can deal with this. Yeah. Not the, the couple trillion that were here last night. Yeah, that was a little tough to take. <laughs> wow. Yeah, not so bad now. Some big wide open spaces. Not many trees. Big wide flat river. We're at the tail end, our last 16 kilometers of the Sutton River trip, 2020. So here we are, our last night, and this is our last campsite, our island paradise. Here's the first fish of the last day, and Linda's killing herself laughing because it's a pike. And Richard doesn't get his ice cream. No ice cream for Richard. <laughs> that is a big pike. I mean, bigger than we've seen, anyway. It looks like maybe a goose camp or something. Odd to see a building out this far. <laughs> Here's the bed. It's a bottle of wine. Coffee pot. This is the real stuff, guys. <laughs> Not sure if I'm shaking, but good chance I could be. Hopefully he's not interested in us. He looks pretty fat. Right into the river where we want to go. Yeah, I think we'll wait a little while. We're, he's going right to where the plane's supposed to pick us up. He's just going to go down there and wait for us to show up. Let the lunch come to him. He's looking pretty healthy though. I would say he's somewhere in the... Uh, yeah, 1,200 pounds probably. Pretty majestic beast. Well, here we are at the takeout point. The plane's going to be a few hours late. So we're stuck here in the sun and the black flies and the mosquitoes and the horse flies. Just waiting, 
we do have our no bug zone. Clearly this is a sign. The end is near. <laughs> the rod is going into the rod tube. Richard has finally quit fishing.